about to head to Walmart. I'm done with my hair. I pinned it up so that my clothes will last. Yeah. I'm moving. I can't believe it. I guess now I can show y'all my, my old apartment because by the time y'all see this, I'll be gone. But yeah, this was our little courtyard area. It was so nice. Oh my gosh, at night especially. This is where I had my birthday party and then back there, y'all can't see where we have like a little water, a little waterfall back there. Rooftop pool, like beautiful. It was really nice. Anyway, but yeah, I'm headed to Walmart to get something that my mover told me to get. I don't know what it is, honestly. It's like stuff to cover up the holes that are in my wall from my TV being mounted and then also for my curtains being hung as well. So, child, I don't know. He sent me a picture. So I'm about to just get what's on the picture. <laughs> but yeah, I'm moving. Hey, 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 hey. You feel the vibe is contagious. Looking around, shit is dangerous. Grateful I had all the patience. I know you're going through some changes. You taking pictures on your angles. Ooh, no, we ain't perfect, but we them gloves. Ooh, you give me something I can't pay for. No, we do what you gotta do. Damn, I can't believe I'm moving out of here. It's crazy. How can you tell? Screw from the one that was up top, and then you get two other child. The ghetto. Oh Jesus! Oh, oh wait. Thank you. I'm not gonna lie, that's the first thing that I'm gonna set up. It's a bar with two bar tools for my balcony. I can carry the camera and the, the ring light. Is it no word about it? What you say? You sure? I can carry it. Take a nap. I'm exhausted. <laughs> it's coming together slowly but surely. All right, y'all. I am pretty much all moved in as you can see stuff all over the place stuff down here stuff over here i kind of set that up but i'm gonna get rid of that all that is going it's a lot of stuff over here my bedroom looks a mess but we are here baby we are here <laughs> so yeah so we're excited and okay let's let's chit chat real quick okay let's chit chat so I'm really proud of myself and I don't think, oh my God, my hair looks a mess. It's been a long day, <sighs> whatever. Anywho, so it's really been a long time coming. And like I told y'all earlier, you know, I didn't even really see this happening for me in 2020. <laughs> 
but I just, you know, kept faith and stuck it out, stuck to the grind. I've been working hard for years, y'all. Years. Like, grinding this thing out, really and truly since I was in college, I've kind of just always been one of those people to get to it. Like, I've, And I think it has a lot to do with my saving and my spending habits. Like, anyone who knows me knows that I am a financial minimalist. And then on top of that, like, just doing a lot of the things that other people don't want to do. Like, if you know me, you know a lot of times I go to the gym at 5.30, 6 o'clock, 6.30 in the morning a lot of times because I would rather just get it out the way kind of been one of those always been one of those people in my career at least who have had a full-time job and have still had side hustles have still had part-time jobs like have still done freelance gigs on the weekends you know like I've always been a hustler and just doing the things that people don't want to do that most people don't want to do eventually the gap between you and everybody else is going to become larger and larger and larger and larger and not to make it seem that i'm like i'm better than anybody because that's not at all what i'm saying because baby it's people who are better at other things i am okay but when it comes to stacking money when it comes to achieving my goals oh baby we got that on lock okay we got that on lock and if you've seen my what, what video was that? It was my video where I talked about all of my 2020 goals. One of my 2020 goals was to get a new spot. And I said I wanted that high rise, floor to ceiling window, city feel. Like that's what I said that I wanted. And I made it happen, you know? So like this doesn't, stuff like this doesn't happen by chance. It takes having a vision and it takes like discipline. It takes sacrifice and it takes, execution like that's really what it comes down to and then staying grounded and being humble through it all but yeah I had to come to terms with myself because a lot of times I battle with imposter syndrome and for those who don't know what imposter syndrome is is basically when you see success you think that it's happened by chance not necessarily because you deserved it like a lot of times in my career I've been in certain rooms and I'm like do I deserve to be here? Like these people have 10 plus more years of experience than I do. It's like, sometimes I'm just like, whoa, like how did I get here? Do I even deserve to be here? Like, did I end up here by accident? Did I get lucky? And I kind of felt the same way with this. I was like, wow, like did I get lucky with this apartment? Like, how did I get here? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But then, I had to think about it and I was like, no, Brie, you didn't get lucky. There's no such thing as luck in a situation like this. You were prepared when an opportunity presented itself because you've been grinding it out for years. Like you've been sacrificing for like years. So the fact that something like this happened, no, it's not lucky. <laughs> like something like this was bound to happen it was just a matter of when and I, I just attribute that to like work ethic saving and spending habits honestly y'all Sp spending habits and saving habits listen that can be the difference between being great and being extraordinary like I said two people can make the same amount of money and those two things will make the world of a difference and you we will slowly but surely see the people who have really been grinding it out for the past couple of years and the people who have been putting on like the difference that that gap that I told y'all is gonna start to get larger and larger and larger and larger and larger so all the people who have been capping on the gram baby baby babies eventually stuff ain't gonna add up but yes i'm really excited to be in my apartment i've already cried my eyes out like a baby today because i'm just so proud of myself and like i said this is something that i didn't think would happen this soon and like i'm just happy